Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tillman Bryant. I want to share some spoken words with you all that I've written. The first piece I'm going to share is entitled Leadership. Leadership is needed. This we all know. It's built on your life and the seeds you sow. Has President Trump sown any seeds? Has he fulfilled any of America's needs? We're bigger than President Trump's thinking. We are aligned this and our credibility is sinking. We're on a world stage and it's about what we do. He's not fit for the job, but this we already knew. We can't forget you, Mr. President, supporting Roy Moore and basically telling women you do not care. Do the women in your life, Mr. President, think it's fair? But you think it's okay because you've gotten away with it too. Mr. President, it's not about what you say, it's about what you do. Lie after lie won't save you, Mr. President, at the end of the day. We won't allow our credibility in the world to go astray. Leadership is needed, but this we all know. So, Mr. President, what seeds do you plan to sow? We don't need this poor leadership that exists, and we must stop putting our values at risk. We need to stand together against the intimidation you portray. We cannot keep a line, you, Mr. President, to have your way. You have disgraced our country with your inability to lead. This type of action, Mr. President, our country certainly do not need. And you said some a few weeks ago in front of the world, you didn't mean to say it. And you've tried to clean it up, oh, but you didn't mean it that way. Now we have Judge Kavanaugh, who has shown himself to be unfit. We're talking about the highest court in the land where he was sit. We are aware this happened years ago when he was a younger man, but Judge Kavanaugh showed us who he was when he was on the stand. Leadership is needed because most Americans know it wasn't right. The investigation should have been thorough, and people are uptight. This administration has no respect for our women, and that's a fact. We need this Me Too movement because our women are under attack. I wrote in towel, I can't breathe. It's a sad day in America that we have to watch so many young black men die. People are marching everywhere and we know the reason why. It's clearly a racial issue and most Americans are not going to stand for it today. We cannot allow police to kill young black men and get away. Our system of justice was designed to be equal and fair. Oh, it's just another black man. Who would have cared? promoting violence, I'm promoting the right thing to do. I can feel the pain, and I'm sure you can too. They have discussed it in the White House because something has to be done. We're living in the 20th century, and this battle against racism has to be won. Because I can't breathe. I don't want to die. I can't breathe. You're killing me, why? I can't breathe. I said it loud and clear. I can't breathe. I know you can hear. I want to live, so let me go. I can't breathe, but this you already know. I post no threat. So why so much force? I can't breathe, and you refuse to hear my voice. You want me to believe you have no choice? Is it because I'm black you're treating me this way? I can't breathe, and you refuse to hear what I say. The whole world was watching. 